Let's do a quick warm up and figure out from there what we're doing. But get your wrists in shape because I think we'll be doing a little with them today. So spread your toes, knees going toward your second toes, sitting bones down, core activated, ribs toward your spine and up, shoulders back and down, reach your crown toward the ceiling. Keep your toes spreading out, getting that face of the toe, ball of the foot area evenly connected with your heels. Lift your arches, shoulders back and down, and just take a few moments to get into that yoga perspective. Breathing deep, belly moving as you feel the lung capacity. Exhaling, letting it all just release any stress or tension. And then inhaling, arms to shoulder level, stretch your fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your chest, elbows back, keep the heart open. Inhale out to the front, shoulders still down, and then clasp your hands behind you. Press them down and lift your heart, stretch your head back, feel that opening through the spine and the heart, and then pivot over as you exhale. Sitting bones up, get those legs stretching a little bit, chin moving, get the neck released, and then knees bent slightly, work your way from the bottom of the spine, winding back up, and again, another nice little back bend, lifting your heart. Stretch through the whole spine. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling a little more circulation increase with that energy flow. And again, arms reaching out at shoulder level. Hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you, so other finger on the outside. Lift your heart again and stretch into the back bend, opening, exhale, pivot on over. Hands up, head down. <laughs> and again, <clears throat> just take a moment and release. Bend your knees, come on back up and lift your heart. And again, stretching into the back bend, just lifting and opening through the whole body. Inhale, upright, <clears throat> release your arms. And again, just notice how your body responds. A little bit more energy. Arms out to the side, palms up, hands above your shoulders, but keep the shoulders down. Clasp your hands and bring the arms back next to your ears. Spread your toes. Lengthen and lean, no twist, over to the side, opening those ribs. So feel the whole spine stretch to the side. One of the least used motions that we do with that spine. So just stretch it out. Inhale back up. Keep the shoulders down as so you bring the other hand around to the front. And again, arms by your ears. Stretch everything apart. Lean, no twist. Don't lean forward. And stretch the ribs. Breathe into it. Feel the whole spine doing its work. And then inhale upright and release. And again, as you get back in the mountain pose, just take a moment feeling that stretch through the spine, energy through the whole body. And we're going to stretch the spine apart for our twist. So bring your arms to shoulder level again, palms up, hands over your shoulders, clasping your elbows. Arms by your ears, as always, stretch that spine apart. So sitting bones down, base of the skull up. And exhale into the twist. Take a moment and breathe, and exhale over. Just take a moment there, feel your body. <clears throat> Notice that the weight is still on both feet evenly. Let's see if you can keep it that way. And then in the twist, work your way back up and lift your heart. Stretch your elbows back and your shoulders down and lift your heart in the twist. Remember, no pressure in the low back while you're twisting in the back bend. And inhale upright, exhale around to the center, switch your arms. And again, by your ears with those arms, and stretch the spine apart so you can twist to the other side. Another breath, and exhale over. Deepen again as far as it feels good today. And just notice what your body is telling you. See if the weight's on both feet, and keep it that way, coming up. 
You lift your heart, shoulders down, and again, a nice little upper body back in. And then inhale and come upright. Exhale around to the center, shoulders down, arms reaching up. Nice extended mountain leg at the knee. And then pivot forward, pivot at the hips, chest leading, and stretch out everything straight. And then drop into ragdoll, just hang. Pull in a little deeper and get that spine working a little bit more. Hands behind your legs, just pulling in a little bit. And then drop the arms to the front. And one more wind up. Coming slowly back to the top, bringing your shoulders back and down. I'll circle them a couple of times to get things released. And then relaxing your arms at your side, bring one arm out. Let's work the wrist a little bit. So bring your hand down and push out through the base of that wrist area. And then pull the fingers back and push the heel of your palm out. And then spread the fingers and push each one down separately, just getting that back of the hand working. And then pull the fingers back as you come across the other way, getting that palm stretching a little bit more. Spread the fingers whenever you're done. Spread it way out. Spread it a little more. Lift that palm to the front and shake it off. Circle the rest a few times. And back into mountain pose. Just feel that one arm. Now we need to do the other. Arm out in front, and again, use the other hand to pull it down, pushing out through the back of that wrist. And then folding back, heel of the palm reaching out. Let it stretch all on that bottom of your arm. Spread the fingers, push them down, get a little bit more work going through that whole hand. And pulling back whenever you're done with the one direction and spreading things out whenever you release. Spread, 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 pull it back, push the palm out, and shake everything. And shake out the wrists, shoulders, arms. And then again, breathing, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, hands toward the ceiling. Exhale, palms to your chest, and then down to the floor, pivoting over. Hands up under your knees and that halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, and spine stretching and straightening. And then bend your knees and come all the way to our child pose. Transition to the floor. Hands, palms up, forehead down. Do a good stretch. Exhaling any tension. And then inhale and sit up. And turn to the side. You can fold your mat over or get some padding under your knees. We're going to bring the knees hip width apart. We're going to come briefly into table position. And so wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up with those hands right under your shoulders. Hips and knees lined up. We're going to go into gate pose. So bring your foot, right foot out to the side with the toes to the front. Stretch it out as far as it wants to go. Walk your hands back up your legs and get those hips nice and even to the front, shoulders even to the front. Hand over to that leg that's stretched out and the other arm out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Slide to the side, no twist, so don't lean forward. Feel the ribs stretch apart, opening through that whole side of your body. Just slide as far as you want down. No leaning forward, though. Just stretching through the ribs, getting that side opening and spine work going. Take a breath. And then inhale back up. Exhale the arm down. And come back to the front into table position, flipping that leg back into place. And of course, we're going to go the other side. So bring the foot out, toes to the front. Hands coming back up the legs. And making sure those hips and shoulders face forward. Arm to the side, or to the leg, and the other one out to the side. Palm up, arm above your shoulder. Shoulders staying down, remember. Slide over to the side. And again, feel the ribs stretch 
keep breathing and the lengthening through that whole side of your back. Slide it as far as it wants to go. Remember, don't force it, just let it happen. Take a breath, keep both hips, both shoulders facing the front. No leaning forward. Take a breath. Inhale back up, release the arm. And again, bring your hands to the front so you can flip that leg back in. And just think back on your heels and unwind your mat. Take a moment there, feeling the sides a little bit more open. And we're going to do a kind of gradual progression of the next thing we're doing. So come up to your knees and hands again. Wrist, elbows, and shoulders lined up. And then bring your hands a little to the front. And lean forward, coming into a kneeling plank. So bring those hips down till your knees, hips, and shoulders are in line. And just feel that plank position. Feel the core, let it really work. So ribs toward your spine and up toward your heart, keeping that midsection of your body as supported as possible. And then we're going to take the left knee over to the side and bring the right leg out straight behind you and come into a kneeling plank. So a kneeling side plank means that your foot is out to the end and your ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder line. So you can have that knee that's still down right under your hip or slightly back toward your foot wherever it's comfortable for you. So you can be on the side of the knee or you can be actually on the knee, but make sure that you then drop the hip a little bit if that knee is more straight under you. So feel that stretch. And then we're gonna bring the hand back down and then flip back into our kneeling point. And then sink back into your Extended child pose, circle that wrist that we were working with supporting our body in the plank position. And of course, we're going to do it to the other side. I'm turning around so I can still face you as we do it. So come on back up and into our kneeling plank. Elbows, wrist, elbows, and shoulders line up. Bring that hip area down a little bit. Push the knees back if you need to get into alignment. Knees, hips, and shoulder lining up. Core activated. Feel that kneeling plank. And then bring your knee out to right knee out to the side, shifting onto your side, and bring that arm straight up above you. And again, you can be on the side of the knee, or if that's not comfortable for you, you can move so that that knee is more directly under you, but you'll need to sink the hip a little bit more then. So side plank, getting the ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder nicely lined up. Feel that core supporting you. Breathe, letting those wrists do their thing. Breathing in, arms right across from each other. Exhale, bring that hand back down. Put the foot back in and the knee down and come again into your kneeling planks for a moment. And then push back into extended child pose and circle that wrist. Take a breath. Exhale, tension. So of course you know what we're going to do next. Yeah, we're going to do the full plank and then the full side plank. So remember, if we do the full plank, if you shift into side plank and it doesn't work for you, you can go back to the kneeling version. So we're going to bring those hands out and again, come up onto your wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. Tuck your toes under and push back through the heel. Lift those hips up. So you don't want to be sinking down through that hip area. If you're sinking, just push up into a teeny little bitty, a bit of a pike rather than into a sag at that hip area. Get those pores really working to support you. So ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. Lift those ribs. Get that core supporting. 
feel your plank, and then shift over to the side. And again, bring the hand right above the other hand as you come into that side position. Sides of both feet, the inner side on the front foot, and the outer side on the back foot are down toward the mat. Reach out through the head, feel that whole body working. And then bring the hand back down, shifting into plank. And again, knees to the mat, shifting back, circling that wrist. Take a breath. Just exhale any tension. And again, if you've got wrist issues, remember, just be gentle and go back in and out as often as you need to to relieve any pressure on the wrist. Exhale any tension. Hands out to the front, shifting up. And again, coming into your plank so that we can do our side plank to the other side. Heels back, knees nice and straight. Lift those kneecaps toward your thighs. Lift those ribs toward your spine and up toward your heart. Lift the hips just a little bit more if you need to. Coming into your plank position, shoulder, shoulder blades toward your waist. Get a good support through that whole spine system. And don't forget to feel that core working. And again, shift over to the sides of your feet and bring the arm right straight up above you. So still, ankles, knees, hips, shoulder, everything lined up in a nice straight line. Feel it as much as feels good for you. Bring that hand back down, bring those knees down if you need a little bit more release in the wrist. And again, hand to the floor, shifting back into your regular plank, core activated, knees to the mat, pushing back, circle the wrist. Take a breath. Just exhale. Let any tension out, especially in those wrists. So we're going to do one more version, maybe two. And as we do this, once again, be gentle when you need to on the wrist. Shifting up back into our wrist, elbows, and shoulders alignment. Knees under the hips. Shift the left leg to the side and into your side plank, supported on the knee. If you like that, stay there. You can go into the full plank version if you prefer. And then lift your top leg in the supported version. So that knee can be a little bit behind your hip on the slight side of your knee for support as you're in this position. Core is activated, and again, the leg is straight, going from ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder in a straight line as you lift that leg. Arms right across from each other. Take a breath. Exhale any tension. Notice what's going on in your body. Only do what's right for you. Hold this body facing the front. And then bring the foot back down, bring the hand to the mat, lift the leg in, the knee under you, come back into your supported kneeling plank. And once more, hips back to your heels, letting that wrist get a little circulation going after it's been supporting you. Take a breath, just relaxing. And pivot back up again onto your hands and knees and come into your plank kneeling position. Shift the knee over to one side and come up into your supported kneeling side plank. And again, just get into the position that's right for you. Knee right under your hip if that works better or slightly on the side of the knee and lift the leg just a little so that you're getting into a nice alignment, ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder. Take a breath. Feel that support through the arm, up supporting the upper body, doing what's right for you. If that lifted leg is not right, remember you can leave it on the floor. Take a breath. And then foot down. Hand reaching down, shifting back into your kneeling plank, 
Get those knees, hips, and shoulders lined up. And once more, push back and circle your wrist. Deep breath. Just let everything relax. So one more version. As we do this, we're going to do the full plank with that lifted leg. It's going to be more intense. So those of you who don't want to do that, go back to the kneeling version. Perfectly good version. And on the kneeling version, you can also always come down onto your forearms if that works better for you. So once more, arms out in front, coming into your plank position, toes tucked out of your arms to the ball of your foot, base of the toe area. Make sure those hips don't sink. Lift those hips up at the sitting bones, keeping that core supporting your low back. Ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Spread those fingers. Get the whole palm supporting you. Breathe. Stretch it out. Bring the knee down if you need to. Make your adjustments. Stretch to the side and bring the arm up. If that's working for you and you want to go further, you can lift the leg a little bit. Take a breath. If that's not working, bring the leg back down. Take a moment and breathe, and shift back into plank. Come into your plank position, get everything working correctly. Knees to the floor, pushing back, circling the wrist. Taking a moment just to adjust anything you need to adjust. And of course, one more side. So we're going to come up onto our hands and knees again, shifting into our full plank or kneeling plank, your choice. Hips up, ankles, knees, and shoulders lined up. Keep those shoulder blades towards your waist, heels out and ground the opposite direction. Shift into your side plank. Stay there. I'm going to stay here on this side because this is my bad broken wrist. I'm probably not going to get that foot up off the floor, but feel free to raise that foot either here, or you can bring your knee down and bring it up in the kneeling position. So remember, personal practice, what's right for you. For me, yeah, the full plank with the lifted leg side plank is not for me. Take a breath. Exhale if your foot is up, bring it down. And shift back into your plank. And once more, knees to the floor, shifting and releasing those overworked wrists. Take a breath. And exhale, take And then sit up on your heels. Bring your legs out to the front. Core activated. Shoulders down. And just slowly go ahead. Uh, to your back. As you get back into your reclined position, just take a moment to let all those shoulders, arms, and wrists release. Relax your core just a little bit, and then bring your arms to T position. Palms up or down, we'll just do our bent knee twist. Sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down, bring your heels in towards your hips, and your knees up above your hips. Cross your leg over if you want a little extra low back work today. And roll the knees either next to each other or with the crossed legs over to the opposite side. Turn your head to the other arm. Shoulders, shoulder blades down for that middle back twist. Head turning for the neck area. And the knees coming toward the floor for your low back. Take a breath and just relax. Remember, you can pad if you need to. And you can keep your feet to the floor, supporting a little bit if you don't need those knees going quite so far to the side today. Take a breath and relax into your twist. And of course, hold them longer when you have time. But for now, heels toward your hips, roll out to your back. If you crossed, uncross, and cross the other way so that we can do our twist to the opposite side. Knees up above your hips, <clears throat> roll to the side. Turning your head to the other direction. Again, shoulder, shoulder blades down, arms straight up from your shoulders. 
Knees coming as far toward the floor as they want. If your legs are crossed, remember that's more intense on that low back, so don't force it. Just let anything happen that wants to, letting the low back get its twist. Head turning for that neck area twist, just look toward that hand behind you. And keep the shoulders and shoulder blades down for that middle back twist because we like to work the whole spine in the twist. Take a breath. Just relaxing. Remember, relaxing lets things go even deeper. And when you're ready to release, just bring that heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. Straighten things out. Release those legs to the end of the mat. Bring your hands, palms up, slightly away from your side, your shoulders down. Take a deep breath. Let that belly relax. Let the spine release. Let your arms, wrist, everything relax. And just as you breathe more deeply, just let your body slowly sink deeper into that earth support. And let any tension left in you disappear. Circle the wrist one more time. And then just let the arms and shoulders and hands relax. Belly soft, toes toward each other and then release. Whole body just sinking deep into that earth embrace. Let it go. As you begin breathing more deeply, relaxing your body gently, just allow thoughts of your body to release from your awareness. And as those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to you. Let them go as well. Let the thoughts drift in and out as easily as your breath. No need to pay attention to any content of the thoughts. No need to think of the past or anticipate the future. No need to recall anything. No need to remember the yoga process today or what you might do in the future, just let it all go. Let your body sink and your mind float and your awareness release both your body and your mind. Breathe deep. Focus inward. Let everything go. Allow yourself a few moments to focus on that peace within and fill yourself with peace. If you have time to keep relaxing today, just take all the time you have. It's time to prepare for the rest of your day. Just be enjoying energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the way, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply and stretch gently, just begin moving however feels right for you today. And with each breath and stretch whenever you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation. Let your sitting bones go toward your heels and bring your heels up toward your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around whatever way feels right for you today. Give yourself that yoga appreciation for the work your body does in yoga practice and the work your body does for you every day. And when you've had enough of that, Release, bringing your head and feet to the floor, rolling to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for the rest of your day today. Thanks for joining me.